in the kitchen in our great kitchen set. Everything's going on our Thermador appliances. Chrissy Moore from Spot of Tea is joining us. And earlier said, what are you going to cook? And she's like, oh, just something simple. Three-course meal. You know. Well, for this one, we're going to roll our sleeves up a little bit because All we're right. going to get into the pork tenderloin here. Um, I, earlier, you saw me slicing it. It's, it's a little bit delicate, but it's not that hard. You just butterfly it. You want to kind of go in at an angle and keep rolling it out. I use a fillet knife. It's usually the easiest. Okay. Now, once you get it all spread out, you want this to cool off a little bit. Now, what we did, we made some rice. Mm -hmm. After we made our rice, we uh, sautéed some onions with, I like pecans. You can use oh, any yeah. nuts you want, like walnuts. You can use pine nuts. Uh, you can add fruit to this. For example, apricot, oranges, mm -hmm. apples, crans, uh, craisins. People like that a lot. But you just want to lay your stuffing in. Okay. And now the delicate part, not so, not so uh, a clean. Messy, that's, but that's right. Okay. A little messy. You just kind of want to stuff it in as far as you can, right. and then give it a nice roll. And then once we get it rolling, you can use either string. I use little sticks. It seems to make it easier for me. Okay. Stick it all the way through the meat. Sometimes it seems a string is a little hard unless you have some help. It kind of starts coming unrolled. So. And I don't do bows this very is easy. well. So yeah. <laughs> I untie knots. But it also doesn't leave those marks on your meat either. Yeah. So once you've done that, um, you can either go straight into your oven with that or you can sear it. Some people like to sear the outside for about four or five minutes on each side mm -hmm. before going in. Now I want to add that I put a little pan in here so that I can put some water underneath. Mm -hmm. That way it helps steam the whole dish as it's cooking. It takes about an hour and a half to cook that. Okay. So um, what temperature are you going to cook it on? Uh, about 375 depending on your oven. Right. And it takes, you know, again your oven always varies but an hour to fifth hour 15 an hour and a half something like that something to watch you want to make sure that pork is always cooked very thoroughly absolutely it's about 160 degrees all right if you want to throw a thermometer on it okay so that is the first step when we come back we'll start get started on the potatoes and yes. potatoes you're gonna be stuffing those and doing all kinds of fun stuff with that that's right we're making our little Easter egg potatoes and this is pretty much all it is you cut your uh, potato in half after you boil it mm -hmm. you're gonna spoon it out Stuff it back and cheese it up. Look at that. So we'll get going on that coming up in just a few minutes. In the meantime, make sure you log on to our website, Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com. Look for In the Kitchen. You can get this recipe and learn more about Spot of Tea. Thank you. All right, we are back in our great kitchen set with Chrissy from Spot of Tea in Mobile. Chrissy, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. So you've got our stuffed pork tenderloin. In the oven right cooking now. Cooking in the oven. That's so right. that's cooking. And what are we doing next? Next, we're going to do our Easter potatoes. Now, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to admit I got this recipe from a good friend of mine, and she allowed me to share it with you guys this morning. So cool. it's had been a secret up to now. <laughs> but all we're going to do basically is we're going to boil our potatoes. Mm -hmm. After they're boiled, we're going to core them out. And what you're going to do is you're going to use this middle part to make the mashed potato mix for your twice baked potatoes. You just pop it out. Mm -hmm. I make, for every one that I'm serving, I make two potatoes to add to the mash mix okay. so that I get a little bit more out of it. So sure. what you end up with are your cored potatoes. Mm -hmm. You're going to take your mix and you can put any kind of ingredients you like in here. You can put bacon, chives, sour cream. You definitely want a lot of butter, a little oh, yeah. heavy cream while you're making your mashed potatoes. But if you just stuff them, mm -hmm. get both sides together here. And you call them Easter potatoes because they kind of look like Easter eggs, look, one, like and two, egg. be, be perfect for the season coming up, for the holiday. Well, exactly. Easter is our next big holiday, and as some of you may know and some of you may not, we have an actual buffet now at the uh, Spot of Tea in the upstairs part of our uh, business. It has a variety of things, including our specialties, like mm -hmm. our Eggs Cathedral, Bananas Foster's French Toast. We do made-to-order omelets and waffles, uh, and a lot of other dishes as well, and we include special the items like this on our buffet also. And you're going to be open on Sundays, right? That's right. That's every Sunday okay. from 11 to 2. Sunday from 11 to 2. If you're looking for a great buffet, head on over to Spot of Tea. All right, what do we got going on there? Now, this is a Monterey Jack Blue Marble Cheese. I yeah. like it because it's so pretty, but it tastes <laughs> really good, too, and it's a great way to impress your guests. Uh, it doesn't cost a whole lot extra. Just look for, you know, something with a little extra color on the shelf. Sure. It's really all you're looking for. Flavor, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. You know, you can put cheese in the potatoes as well if you like. But if you just layer it, almost like a little band-aid, uh -huh. once you bake this off, 
Now you're going to put it back into the oven, bake it off again. It gets nice and pretty and cheesy, as you see in our finished presentation. Looks fantastic. And of course, the recipes for all these things are on the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. And the third thing we were working on was this. This is spinach au gratin. Spinach au gratin. And that is going in the oven as well? And basically, yeah, you're just going to make your cream sauce like you would any other au gratin. Mm -hmm. Flour, milk, you know, whisk it all in together good. Um, I boil my spinach off first, mm -hmm. make my au gratin, and then once I layer it into the pan, I just sprinkle uh, some breadcrumbs over the top. Ooh, nice. Give it a little extra crisp to the top while it bakes. Mm -hmm. And then follow it up with some more Parmesan cheese. Definitely. My favorite kind of cheese, as cheese I've said before here on the show. So we're going to finish all three of these things up. And when we come back in just about 20 minutes, we'll see how these three uh, delicious dishes turn out. Thanks a lot, Chrissy. Thank you. Welcome back to our Great Kitchen Set on Studio 10, cooking with Chrissy Moore from Spot of Tea. This three-course meal is about done. It's almost ready. We've pulled our pork out. We've let it sit for 10 minutes because you don't want to just cut straight into a hot meat. You need to let the juices settle. Um. We just got our potatoes out of the oven. And last mm. but not least, I believe we're ready for oh, our yes. casserole. Watch out. Very hot. Shut that for you. All right, so now oh, it's really wow. just a matter of presentation at this point. We're going to put it on the plate, slice it all up. I'm going to go ahead and pull my little picks out of the uh, pork tenderloin here. Okay. I'm going to cut us off a nice, healthy slice. And remind everyone what you stuffed that with. Today we stuffed it with pecans, wild rice, a lot of spices, for example, garlic, salt, pepper, onions. And mm. um, there we go, get the prettier side up for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> And then we're going to add a little spinach cream cheese to the side of it here, our au gratin. Wow. And I like to throw a little fresh Parmesan on top with a little extra color just to finish it off. That is how you can get the kids to eat spinach. I Everything mean, really. is better with cheese. I, I mean. agree. And what is your potato stuffed with again? Now that's just a mashed potato. You can make it any way you like. You can make it with bacon and chives or just sour cream and cheese. But you're going to take the inside of the potato, make your mashes out of it, stuff it all back together, and cook it one more time. Wonderful. Now, can we cut this potato open and show everybody what's inside? Absolutely. Feel free. Right, it's it's you should be grab fork it, Grab the big knife. Woo! All right. Let's try this. Because this looks fantastic. And that is what the inside looks like. And as you mentioned, mashed potato, you have your cheese. Oh my gosh, that looks fantastic. And it's a complete meal. It is. You, you, you got your vegetables, meat, starch, and the rest. You can drink. <laughs> there you go. You brought your wine, too. Just now, something to pair with pork. I'm not traditionalist. I don't necessarily believe that white is good for white and red is good for red meat. Um, I kind of break my like. habits. I go with red on pork. Whatever you like. Okay, so I'm going to taste this, and while I do that, please let everybody know about everything you have going on at Spot of Tea and where you're located. Oh, we have so much now. I mean, we used to just be seven to two, seven days a week, but now on the weekends, we're almost 24 hours. You can come in at two o'clock in the morning and have you an ex-cathedral sitting there on your way home. Mm. So uh, we have a lot of new things, including the buffet, the lounge, um, the club teas in the back, and Spotted Teas always got our specialties, our favorites that we look forward to every weekend. Okay. So anytime there's something going on downtown, the Spotted Tea is a place to be. Definitely. All right, so you got to get this recipe. The spinach is great. I'm moving on to the pork. Check it out. It's on our website, Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com. Such a fantastic meal. Thank you so much for Thank being you for here. Thank you for having me this morning. Absolutely. Come see us at the Spotted Tea. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>